Hey, collectors, Anthony from Ashes on Chain. We're looking at the Bandai Fusions. Now, um, articulation determines the age of these things. And I'm just going to go through the list here and then, you know, give you an idea of where the articulation lies in, you know, later series or not. But anyway, this is uh, Super Saiyan uh, Vegito. Uh, this is Gotenks, Super Gotenks, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Ghost Gotenks uh, from the Kamikaze attack. Um, fused uh, Kabito Kai. And, uh, of course, uh, Gogeta. Now, Gogeta is the oldest figure. And I think he came in a similar wave as Kabito Kai. And we'll start on this side here. And the way you can tell is just the articulation is very limited and the proportions are super off. Um, his head moves, his arms move. That's it. There is nothing more to it. Uh, that is what you get with this version. And then we can flip him around. Here's what the back looks like. Um, nothing, nothing missing here. You're not, uh, not I mean, it, it's a, it's a statue basically. And then we'll skip to Kabito Kai. Um, a late Z contender. He was basically showing the guys how to do the Potera fusion, um, you know, Vegeta and Goku. And this is what happened. Um, ended up with this form through the entirety of GT, but then got retconned and in, in a fix in Super. So, uh, that's why we, we argue now it's a convergent toy line or sorry, storyline. But uh, yeah, uh, he got soft goods on, and like, oh, like just this whole bottom piece over him is soft goods. And it didn't do this a lot, some capes and stuff. But um, he has a waist articulation, he has a little bit of head articulation, and instead of his arms being as movable, I mean, there's a universal joint under there, but he got like wrist, and he can open up his arms like this, and like that. But I mean, this is, I mean, some leg articulation. So I mean, it might be a little bit newer than uh, uh, Gogeta there, but. Uh, yeah, it's just really limited by what he has uh, going on there. It's just uh, you know, decent enough. Uh, he, he's a big boy. He's probably one of the bigger ones they've released. Um, so now let's go to the left here. Here is a more modern... So for some reason, Bandai decided to do this thing where they gave you, like, beat-up damage sh shading. And it's particularly bad on Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. But uh, they update articulation, and that is great. Vegeta looks excellent here. He gets the uh, the universal joint. He gets arm movement, uh, 360 here. Although he's going to get stuck, there it goes. Um, his head is on a nice up and down, left and right, and uh, you kick. No, no ankle, but uh, yeah, that's it's it's pretty good. I, I uh, it's fairly plain for a figure, but I mean you see all the little, uh, grating in the hair and on the skin. Uh, so you know, we'll see this again as we go along. Uh, and I don't know why they decided to mix it up at certain points. I feel like they could have kept, you know, improved the articulation, but kept kind of the the shading method because it starts to look weird. Like here, so this is uh, Gotenks. Uh, nothing beat up on him. He's just a lot of tan with some dark highlights, like inside of the muscle fix uh, here. Head movement, a uh, universal joint, up and down. He has, does he have wrist? No, he doesn't have wrist. Okay, I was like, does he have uh, is Legs move forward and backwards, and he has some waist. And, uh, I mean, he's decent enough. He's just, he just got real tan for some reason. I, and I just sometimes the consistency and color didn't really um, do much for me. But then they do this thing where it's a cartoon face. Um, and, and, like, I feel like these are similar. Like, maybe they did this one, then this one came out afterwards. I don't know. It's just weird the way they did the head and stuff. Or this might be a later one. They did a cartoon. Like, Ninja Turtles did Toon Turtles, so, I mean, why not? But the articulation is the same. Um, waist, head, up and down leg. Uh, how is it compared? Uh, well, this one doesn't have that head joint. So this one is clearly on the same set or level as the uh, the Gogeta. So, but you can see clear differences. They kind of gave up detail for articulation, which is what it looks like. So that it might be the reason why we are where we are with this figure. Uh, so we'll put him back here, and before I get to uh, the Gotenks Super Saiyan 3, uh, first off, a pain in the heck to stand. But here is the Ghost Kamikaze attack, which I think came with this one here, the uh, Super Saiyan Gotenks. And uh, he's just a simple ghost, um, and he has a finger going like this on him. It's not the middle finger, trust me. Uh, but uh, his articulation is his head and his arms. That's it. There's no posing otherwise, uh, so we just kind of just keep him hanging around. But here is the problem they have with all Super Saiyan 3s. The head is huge. 
Now, this is after he got beat up by Boo. and got a uh, face beat up. Um, and got chest beat up. It's just, I, I don't know. But he's still got some of that grading in there. Uh, universal joint arms. Uh, no wrist or anything. No elbow. Forward and back legs. So it's just interesting that the take they did on these in this particular uh, series of waves that run down these guys here. So, yeah, it just... Um, he, he doesn't have ankle, which would make it so much easier to balance. And, like, I'm going to put him on here, and he's... He, yeah, he's just... He, he needs to stand up in this weird way. And I'm just not going to be able to get it. Yeah, because it took so much effort just to get him up there so I can take the pictures. But, yeah, these are the fusions. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on these items. Did you get them? And how was your experience with them? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.